Hello everyone. Welcome to Silicium Tech. Today we will discuss about the topics VFB and RTE. If you have not yet watched my video on Autosaw methodology, I recommend you to do so because that will give a better understanding of uh, what we will be discussing today. Uh, the link is in the description. As discussed in the previous video, OEM typically decides what are the software components a vehicle project should have, what features it should implement, and what interface it should use to interact with each other. And the mechanism of interaction between each other uh, is uh, designed by something called as virtual function bus. So this uh, bus is not a real bus. It's not like a canvas or something. Uh, it's just a concept. Uh, so with this concept, we will design how the communication uh, will happen between the software components and uh, the implementation of the uh, this plan uh, can happen uh, via different mechanisms. So the main one is RTE. Uh, so RTE is the implementation of the virtual function bus when it comes to individual ECUs. And between ECUs, the communication can happen via uh, CAN network or any other kind of communication protocol. So from application software component, the data passes through uh, the RTE the, and then to the basic software and then to, for example, CAN driver and it passes via the CAN bus. And then uh, it again goes to the next ECU. It is received by the basic software. It is received by RTE and then uh, the next software component receives it. When the OEM decides uh, which software component should be present, uh, they typically uh, will not uh, decide uh, at these lower levels in the first step. Uh, they will decide what are the features should be and uh, the connections. Once they do this configure system step, which I explained in the previous video, uh, they map each software component to ECU. And once the mapping is done, then uh, the me mechanism is designed. So each ECU, how it should interact, this is also decided by the topology uh, and uh, this is also decided by the OEM. Designing the VFP can be done with tools like System Desk, Isola, DaVinci, etc. Design of VFP is done by the OEM and when the extract is given to the supplier, they will implement the VFP with help of RTE. Let's move on to RTE. As Alvari said, RTE is the realization of VFP and this provides the actual communication mechanism between the software components inside an ECU. In VFB, the communication happens via ports. There are two kinds of ports. One is the provider port and other is the receiver port. As the name suggests, provider ports are used to send data or service to other components and receiver ports are used to receive data or service from the other components. Implementation of the concept of uh, VFP ports are done by RTE structures and the connection between them are implemented by RTE APIs. For example, consider this uh, two components, distribute B and B1. Here, the distribute B sends data out via this RTE write and B1 uh, receives the data via RTE read. These two components are connected by ports. so. Distribute B will have a provider port and V1 will have a receiver port and the connection will be made uh, with help of tools. And when the code is generated, this uh, RTE functions will get created. And we can use the RTE functions inside our software components. This was an example of sending data via port. There could be also service ports, meaning uh, we could call a function from one software component and it will execute something in the other component. In case of sender receiver ports, there are two types of RT calls. One is the explicit and other is implicit. This is based on the data transcription method. In case of explicit calls, as soon as uh, RT function is called, the data is transferred. In case of implicit calls, the call will happen, but immediately the data will not be returned to the source. This should the write will happen only sometime after our function has finished. We have come to the end of the presentation. We have just seen brief overview of the RTE elements. We will see uh, everything in detail when we focus further. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. 
please do subscribe to the channel and share the videos